Hi everyone, Meister here again. This time uh, I'm hoping to fix my Audi's uh, gearbox uh, problem. And uh, the, it's, it's a bug uh, that is uh, hopefully in the gearbox software. Some of the uh, workshops uh, told me that uh, there is a problem with the turbine. And uh, I think it's not the turbine problem because uh, uh, one shop uh, said that uh, I should check the software because uh, there are a uh, lot of uh, Audis uh, from this era that have the software problems. My car has the software 1001 version and uh, we are trying to downgrade it to 008. And uh, let's hope this uh, works, uh, because the problem right now is uh, when I drive uh, in uh, no, normal uh, slow speeds, you know, maybe 30, 40 kilometers per hour or no, smaller, is it? smaller. And uh, then uh, it uh, makes a little uh, halt in uh, second and uh, third, between second and third uh, gear. It's uh, like... Uh, uh, the car is uh, cutting the fuel uh, and uh, then immediately goes on. It's not maybe cutting a fuel for one second or something. And yeah, uh, now I'm heading uh, to my friend's garage and uh, I hope the software downgrade uh, makes the gearbox work uh, better than it was before. No, uh, that is uh, right now. And uh, the the gearbox uh, should be very smooth, uh, the gears uh, should uh, change smoothly because right now it's not very good to drive, it's quite bad. And uh, now let's head to my friends and let's see what's going on. Now the gearbox uh, version uh, of the software has been changed. The, it seems the problem is uh, that the uh, power converter is uh, closed uh, too soon uh, when uh, the gearbox uh, needs to uh, keep it open a little more. And uh, this uh, makes the problem uh, when, uh, like I said, uh, it's like uh, cutting off the fuel uh, for one second and going on. But yeah, now we are taking the, my friend is taking the ECUs uh, of the engine off also to change the version. On my car, the uh, EGR uh, has been uh, no, uh, coded off and uh, now he needs to make the same uh, situation. And uh, the, for this, he needs to take off the ECUs. But uh, 
Let's take them off and uh, let's see what's going on. Now the backup has been done, uh, so if uh, anything goes wrong with the uh, engine uh, software, then uh, we can go back to the old version. But yeah, it seems that the, the right now the version uh, what is on, uh, no, it's the latest for this one, the 1001, and uh, for this uh, there is an option uh, to update it. Uh, I don't remember what was the number, so the B was the letter on the last, uh, no, last symbol. But yeah, uh, now uh, my tr uh, friend uh, tries to download the B version, what the, the code was on the engine ECU uh, originally also when the car came out. And uh, now we will uh, try to put it back on and let's see what's going on.
Good morning. It's the next day. Uh, yesterday it uh, went uh, quite long because, uh, like you saw in the video, it was quite dark outside when we finished. But uh, conclusion: uh, the gearbox software was changed, and uh, we tried to change the engine software also. But uh, the version what is on right now, the last uh, Dieselgate version. It's uh, not allowing to override anything, even uh, not even with the same original one what is on right now. But uh, we tried uh, to put the uh, we put the old uh, gearbox version and the new left the new engine version and everything is working like it should. There's there are no complications, and uh, I didn't uh, notice before, but. Uh, there were uh, two holes. Uh, one is in the middle of the second gear, and then uh, the second was uh, between the third gear. But now, when the software was changed uh, for for an older one, sorry, my nose is itching. And uh, for an older one, uh, then the gear change between the second and third uh, went well. Uh, we uh, did uh, adoptions uh, on the road. We drove uh, 50 kilometers uh, total uh, when uh, adopting it, uh, driving manually in the third gear between 2000, uh, 1200 and 1700 RPM, and the torque must be between 80 and 180, and uh, specific uh, adoptions. And we did uh, this uh, with uh, every gear, what the program uh, demanded. And uh, now the gear change is better, but uh, uh, one clunk is in the middle of the second gear. And when we are driving uh, quite slow, then it makes a little clunk uh, because it uh, locks the turbine in the middle of the second gear and uh, then goes on uh, and changes to th uh, third gear. But uh, my friend uh, downloaded the software for this and uh, he is uh, checking uh, maybe there is a problem with the software. Uh, probably there is a problem with the software but uh, now I was driving and uh, the gear change is uh, quite smoother than it was before and uh, my friend said uh, drive uh, maybe 100 kilometers and uh, let's see what's going on then but yeah let's hope it gets better uh, yeah and uh, for this like you usual Hit like, hit subscribe, uh, when you like my videos, uh, feel free to comment what you think. And uh, I hope my problem uh, goes away. And uh, if there are any updates about uh, software changes or something like this, uh, I will make another video. But uh, see you soon in the next video. Bye!